Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are noted for their pass offenses, and rightfully so. They're among the best in the country, and they put up huge numbers. But if you watch these clubs carefully, you'll see that they pass the lead and run to win. Maybe a little bit more balanced than people realize. And sometimes you can't get caught up always looking for the pass because that's exactly when you'll get burned by the run. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Potato State. Bronco Stadium in Boise is the site for today's matchup. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 and he just got drilled so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. defense that was picture perfect three and out good series for these guys and watch out they're going to bring the heat right here and he's taken down at the 50 Boise State's coaching staff the fans I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play and here he is well, he's a star quarterback he seems to bring everything to the table the crowd I think senses he's ready to have a big day and when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start some big things can happen for this offense fires that quickly incomplete number 34 was the intended receiver on the play that makes it second, second down and 10 to go Ball on the 50-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 17. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. the 17-yard line. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick strike and a 
gets caught for the touchdown. Boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to get you up to date from Lovett. And for Texas Tech, that coverage made their defensive coordinator look like a genius. Pick six. The Red Raiders are out front, 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. Thursday. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. There's a fumble. It's recovered, and they got him for a loss. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Second down. Caught. Tackle around the 19-yard line. Game of 10 yards. Third down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Double down. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. They like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 34. Stop around the 46 yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. him out the 39 yard line this is the kind of steady strong drive the coaches love to see right now they're firing on all cylinders here's the eighth play of the series they come out in a goal line set they'll bring him down for a loss on the play Second and 12. Ball on the 41 yard line. Got a man complete and he's hit hard. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws 
almost quickly, and it's almost intercepted. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Boise State is up a score. And they'll get him in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. We've played one. The Broncos lead 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 26. That'll make it fourth and ten. Stewart is back deep to return the punt. Brought down at the 47. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 37-yard line, first down. They're packed in tight on the line. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That brings him second and one. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. First down. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Benson will run it again. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Third and eight. Ball on the 19. Strike to his receiver. No good. Sanders was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Yeah. 
It's up, and he's got it. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Red Raiders have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 14-7. 7-3 in this one. Easley is lined up to kick this one off. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Boise State holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 39. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 42. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. Back down by now. At about the 49. Interesting call here by the offensive coordinator to go with the screen pass. It picks up the first down and gets the defense, again, another thing to think about to slow them down maybe later in the game with their pass rate. Incomplete pass. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He lets it fly. Dropped. They come out in a five wide set. They'll bring him down around the 41 yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail back. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The Cavalry's coming. He wants it all. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. There's a strike complete, and he is drilled at the 21-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. The five. Great concentration to haul it in.
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 10-7. From his own goal line, gets out to about the 21. Boise State's gotten a play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. You're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. 10-7, Cardinal. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you don't give up any sacks, and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit, and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to, but a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. From the 8-yard line, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Stanford's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Play. He's going to lose yardage. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Here we go. Caught and he's hit immediately. is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to midfield, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Stanford holds a field goal lead. It left side and he's brought down in the backfield. 
So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 48. give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So the sack makes this third and very long. He's pushed out of bounds around the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 35. Right around the 22 yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. And they get nice yardage on that run. Benson comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Stanford is up a field goal. Gets it again. This one's going nowhere. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and six. From the six yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and This is the tenth play of this drive. Defense stacked in tight here. And down he goes at the six. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It's second and goal. Ball on the six. Brought down at the five. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Stanford has a three-point lead. Touchdown, Cardinals! So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra points. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's take a look at what's happening in the top 25. The Wildcats relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. And for Denman, he's got three touchdown passes. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 26. The 
the defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Quick pass. That's a great tackle. The 36-yard line. So at the end of three, the Cardinal lead 17-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Seven yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result again, a nice play for the offense. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Ready, three, three, five. Three, three, three. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 50. Griffin brings him down to the 50-yard line. Fourth down. Slings it out there incomplete. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run to the outside. That's a five on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 45-yard line, second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Less than three minutes in the game. the 23-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. From the 23-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Boise State just took their first time out. yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a of ball carry. They'll line it up again on third down. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. 
Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Kicks away, and it's good. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Wildcats had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. And for Nebraska, they continue their winning wave. The Cornhuskers win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 20 to 7, our score here. Easily has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He makes it to the 18-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He lets it fly. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. He throws right. Great concentration to pull it in. And they finally knock him out at the 46. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He wants it all going long. Doesn't get there. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 46. From the 15-yard line, second down. Dips it to his receiver, touchdown. Big pass play for the score, and we're down to a one-score game. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Tackle at the 40. Stanford's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. A little over a minute in the game. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. the middle for a nice game. That makes it 37. And that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 2014 Cardinals.
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.